Hey everyone, it's Pride and I'm here with this month's Booty Bin. Bootybin.com is a geek subscription website and what that means is for $24.95 a month plus $5 shipping, you can have a random box of geeky goodness sent to you every single month. It's like a present from baby Jeebus. Now unfortunately, there was a bit of a mix up between the affiliates and other folks like that who are doing Booty Bin videos and Booty bins were kind of delayed in the process, so I actually have two months of booty bins to cover, and I'm just going to barrel through August and get straight to September's because I'm so excited. But for August, it looks like they just shipped me a box quickly because when I quickly did this, my sister said that there was no packaging, like wrappers, and there's no uh, booty bin card. So I think they just wanted to get this out so you guys knew what you were missing and they left all the floofera out, but I'm pretty sure September is back to normal. So let's check out August. All right, I'm going to see that August already has what looks like a space theme, an astronaut ice cream. So when I was a kid, we got to go to the Space Center. It was like this trip we saved for all year and we got to go to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And all my friends with money bought themselves astronaut ice cream. And my twin and I did not get any. And we sat there all sad wondering what astronaut ice cream tastes like. I tried it once at Tate's a while ago and I wasn't too impressed. So I'm going to try it right now. This is Neapolitan. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so it comes in this little wrapper. And it's been cut into three different... Okay. I honestly don't know if it's going to live up to the hype in my my head um if strawberry flavored chalk existed that's what the astronauts eat let's try the vanilla real quick kind of chalky seriously when i was a kid this shit was way cooler in my head i thought it tasted like astronaut heaven and instead, I feel sorry for the astronauts. This is kind of gross. Hold on. Mm. Well, chocolate's not bad. Kind of tastes like Nesquik. They freeze dry it and removes the water from the ice cream, lowering the air pressure to a point where ice shifts from a solid to a gas. That's all boring space speak. Let's keep moving on. Next is... Oh, a packet of Star Wars trading cards. A game packet says. Over 80 different units to collect. I have never played a Star Wars trading card game. I have no idea what these cards are gonna look like. Let's go check the shoot out. Oh, there's something I can build. It is a little fighter. I guess to set them up and fight each other, they're little fighters. And then there's cards. Kadu Riders, I probably said that wrong. Altering the deal. When you play this card, you may discard one objective card. If you choose to discard an opponent's objective, he or she puts it back to the bottom of his deck. All right, think of it like magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon, but with Star Wars stuff. Um, it is really cool looking, but I feel like you have to collect a butt ton of these to get a full game going. But, I don't know. If, if I had friends that had this, I would learn to play. It doesn't look too hard to pick up and play. Alright, let's move on. To, oh, I still got astronaut ice cream in my mouth. I don't even know what this is. Mech Warrior Age of Destruction. It's another game. And you get these little mechs that look like hero clicks. And you can fight them against your friends. They each come with cards. Ooh, I'm Lil Turner. She's a hottie, that's her special ability. Total fucking hottie. 20 points, just for being hot. Um, I've got these little army dudes. They're little three mechs, three mechs. And then because I'm totally awesome, I got a fucking tank. This tank should be a deal breaker for everybody. I feel like this tank rolls in and everybody just runs. They're like, fuck it, I'm out. So you got some cool little, so far it's a lot of tabletop games, which is cool. I could, I could learn to play some of these. At PAX I played way too many tabletop games. I learned to play, what the fuck? 
What are you? Wizard Games, Wiz Kids. He might be another one of these. This is Mongoose. This looks like a giant fucking mech. And then he looks like he has this, this gun down here that almost looks like an extra dick that he could use to just, like, shoot you with. It's right here. I feel like it should be a little higher up and just come right out of his junk. But as you click him around, I believe this little extra gun dick has extra hit points on it. All right, he looks kind of like a badass. And, oh, I've got a Serenity sticker in here. It's got all the characters from Serenity with Serenity herself in there. Or a Firefly sticker, whatever you prefer. Has all their names. They're faceless, but it's very, very obvious that each character is who they say they are. And, aw, John Venture would love this. Because it is a Halo character dressed like a Mexican, and it says, Hola, instead of Halo, or Hala. <laughs> I like that one. That one's cute. And last but not least, I got me some motherfucking Spock. Oh my god. Okay, so he comes with part of the bridge. That's like a bonus. And you're like, sweet, he comes with part of the bridge. But the best part about this guy is that one of his hands comes off and he has a replaceable hand that does this. He's got like an extra... Well, that one hand on the left looks like it jerks off. It's got this hand like this. So that's his jerking off Captain Kirk hand. And then there's his... Live long and prosper hand. Comes with a, looks like Batman's utility belt. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I, I like the new Star Trek movies and Spock comes with a utility belt, a phaser, interchangeable Vulcan salute hand, and a silver Starfleet emblem figure stand. So you can stand him up. And then you can sit there and either jerk off Kirk or live long and prosper. What else? August was space themed. And I'm going to eat some more of this because, I don't know, I hate myself. <laughs> and I like sugar. So we're going to put all my little mechs back. That was that was really cool. If you guys want a new tabletop game or some space stuff is your thing, August was your bin, you missed out. Um, I was in gosh, you know, I should have to chew. But before I go, if you want to try getting a booty bin for yourself, if you use the coupon code P-R-Y-D-E, you will get $5 off your first spin, so it's like free shipping. You're welcome, Internet. Oh, the chocolate's not as good. All right. Let's move into... Uh, let me use one of these. Here, let's use the Mech Warriors. Ah. Uh, maybe a Mech. Ah. Uh, that didn't help either. All right, let's move on to September. Ooh, September's booty bin. We're back with the card. It says fantasy. All right. With a bin like fantasy, I feel like it should have like a Boba Fett vibrator and some Chewbacca flavored lube. I feel like it's not exactly gonna have that. Holy fucking pixie sticks. The first thing I see is my weight in pixie sticks. I'm just gonna get, you ever snort them when you were a kid? You always told like, that's really cool. And then you try snorting it and it makes your nose bleed. I know it sounds like Coke, but that was the closest thing to drugs I ever did. So, grapes good flavor. I'm sorry, purple. Mmm. Mmm. Those are as good as I remember. Oh my god. Holy shit. I think these are erasers. Those are awesome. All right, hold on. So you have these little eraser tops that you can put on your pens. Let's see if I can use a pixie stick. And it makes them look like little fucking weapons. This is awesome for back to school. If you are still in school or going to college and you want to have a badass eraser for those horrible math tests. This is really cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. Like I need more. Pointy ears. Yes, please. Ooh, Magic the Gathering corset. Yeah. Sorry, I'm skipping ahead here. Let's see if I can't get in here. These are really easy, like, easy to do ears. These are, like, super quick for the elf on the go. Let's see if I got this. Yeah. I feel like an elf on the go. All right, let me get the other one going. Am my adorable? I could just like an, look like an idiot snorting pixie sticks. Okay, hold on. We're almost there. 
All right. Holy more fucking pixie sticks. So far, this might be one of my favorites. Oh. Okay, honey badger is definitely getting these. They are ducks dressed in armor. They're like little medieval ducks. And they're for good bass. I like the noise they make. Like, like a kitten sniffing. Oh, a Hobbit Hero Clicks. You know, I went to um, Card Kingdom in Seattle while I was up there to check it out. And I had to buy one X-Men Hero Clicks for myself. I ended up with a Jean Grey. Thought she'd be more badass than she was, but turns out hero clicks are so little they paint their heads to look a little retarded. But they are so cute. Oh, what the fuck? What is wrong with this hero click? All right, this is Bifur the dwarf. Um, the problem. This is the Hobbit hero clicks. Problem with this guy is he's using his staff to block his face. So he's like got his like big old staff dick right here blocking his face. So I guess this is a defensive door. I'm going to say he plays defense for the team. The man loves D, if you know what I mean. What the fuck? Is this Warcraft or is this... I can't ever tell if it's Kung Fu Panda or Warcraft. Let's look. Could be... What the fuck? Does it say over here? Oh, World of Warcraft. It's a little Warcraft pan... Um, Pandarian. And what? <laughs> I remembered. He's gonna hang out with my duck of ducks One second. Oh my god, yes. I've got a sticker that has Tyrion on it, and it says Pimp. Because that's the imp with the limp, man. That guy is Pimp. And here's an evolution of Link sticker, which is really cool. I've got, oh, here we go. This is the rest of my miniatures game. This is my Pandaren Brewmaster. Chen Stormstout. He's got 10 honor. honor. He's chugging a beer and he's got like a keg with him. So I don't know how effective he is because I feel like he might just be pissed drunk all the time. Still cool. And last but not least, <laughs> one thing I did do a lot of while I was in Seattle was play Magic the Gathering. And the 2014 core set, what? I've got a 15 card booster pack. So let's see what's in here. What the? All right. I've got an enchantment, a green enchantment, a blue enchantment, a 5-3 creature for red, a human rogue creature. It's a beast. Human knight, sorcery. Oh, giant growth instant. I used to use this before. Creature, an ox. How fucking effective is an ox? He just stands there. He's a 2-4. He doesn't really attack for much. He's mostly defense. Ooh, this guy's cool. He's a death... I'm sorry. Death Gaze Cockatrice. <laughs> His name has cock in it. And he flies and he looks pissed off. He's got Death Touch, which means anything he hits, he kills. I like Death Touch. All right. Um, Wild Guess is a sorcery. An artifact. Bubbling Cauldron. And a creature warrior. All right. These are just a bunch of commons and a couple of planes or mana but it's some good stuff to start building your 2014 deck so september is fantasy full i swear this was a good time these guys are so cute my erasers seriously what is this a mace shut the fuck up look at this i don't know anybody that's gonna have cooler fucking pencil toppers than me right now i feel like i should be like ah! <laughs> and they should fight don't judge me this is what I do all day, guys. I'm not... Oh, my God. Who wins? I feel like this is Deadliest Warrior. Oh, this guy looks more badass. He looks like a RoboCop duck. So he'd be like, let's just push him against each other and see who wins. Ah! Okay. We can cut that out because I'm a total idiot. Um, this is really cool. I had... I have to say, this has been one of the most enjoyable ones I've had in the past few months. I really enjoyed the fantasy. I liked the... Eraser tops. I liked my little Pandaren. I liked. Oh, these stickers are really pimp. Uh, September won it for me. August was a little bit of a letdown, but I don't know what they're going to do next month. It's Halloween, so it better be scary stuff because I fucking love Halloween. And now I got my own fears. Do you? 
Use the coupon code PRYDE and get your own booty bin. Do a video and tell me how bad my videos are and then show me what a good one looks like. And if you have any hate or rage or love or you want to talk about politics, all right, politics goes somewhere else. But anything else, let's talk about it down here in the comments below. I'm fearless. Ask me a question. I don't give a shit. I will see you all next month. Bootybin.com. Oh.